Alright, what's going on guys? It's Flame, and welcome back to another Black Ops Cold War video. So yesterday we got the new Season 1 update with all of the new stuff, all the new content, the Warzone integration, the new Battle Pass, stuff in the shop, new guns, new maps, all that stuff. But my grind for Dark Matter does continue, so this is another episode of the Road to Dark Matter. And as you can see, so I was able to, let me just find a random class here. I was able to unlock the gold uh, DMR right here, so you can see all these camo challenges are now complete. And because of that, I was actually able to unlock the diamond tactical rifles. So you can see here, this is the diamond M16, looking uh, quite nice, and the diamond type 63. And then I'll just put on the uh, diamond DMR here, and uh, I don't have the right thing for this, lawbreaker the diamond og boom and these do be looking very very clean super happy that i got these so now if we go into here actually we're now two out of nine for dark matter ultra and two of the bigger classes at that so progress is coming along um and as i said winter break is coming soon so i'm going to be able to just absolutely just speed through these guns and the challenges so super excited for that uh but yeah I haven't seen what this diamond camo looks like in game yet, so let's hop into a game with it. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, drop a like if you enjoy, hit that post notification bell so you never miss an upload, and uh, yeah, let's hop into the game. Okay, well, this game is in progress, but you can see here, boom, the diamond M16, Ooh, looking nice. Been a while since I've seen diamond on new guns. Uh, I unlocked diamond for the SMGs and for the first time a long time ago. And then there's the Diamond uh, Type 63. Looks really good in this game, Diamond. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm working on the, whatchamacallit, ARs now, as I said before. Um, I'm working on the, the ARs. I leveled them up during um, Double Weapon XP. My game is stuttering quite a bit. But yeah, I leveled them up dur during uh, Double Weapon XP. So I'm going to be, uh, sh I thought I saw someone up there. I'm going to be shifting my focus on over to those. They are already leveled up. And, uh, shouldn't take me too long to finish these. I'm thinking I can get a gun done per day. I might even, if I play a lot, I might even be able to get this XM4 done today. All I have left is long shots, one bloodthirsty, and the, whatchamacallit, um some of the cover kills and we all know that the cover kills are the most painful part of this but the rest of it's pretty trivial because i got a lot of it done during uh double weapon xp like the kills the headshots a lot of the bloodthirsties the field mic like stun kills whatever so yeah um wow okay this is going well also um been seeing some more stuff regarding season one now that it's been out for a full day we're still waiting on the prestige key shop thing which i i'm really excited for how are you not dead um yeah so we're getting we're getting hopefully closer to the release of that uh prestige key shop because i'm really excited for that and um also apparently the mac 10 smg is really really good at least that's what i've heard so, I am, again, excited to try that out. You get it at, like, what, tier 10, I think? So, as soon as I am able to hit tier 10, I will um, upload a video trying out that gun. Obviously, I'll have no attachments for it. Um, so, it won't be the best that it can be, but I'm still curious to see how it plays. It looks very similar to an Uzi to me, but probably has a higher fire rate, so... Yeah, I mean, I'm curious to see what these DLC weapons are like. But other than that, my life is just still the Dark Matter grind. Uh, Nuketown Holiday 24-7 exists, so basically Nuketown 24-7 stayed. So I'm able to just, just go off on these challenges and just finish them really, really fast. So I'm really happy about that. I'm hoping... So what I'm going to assume, right, is that... I don't think they would take away, because they do a playlist update once a week on Wednesdays. Um, so I don't think that they would take 
Nuketown 24-7 away this coming Wednesday, considering that I think Christmas Day is Thursday. So it wouldn't make sense to take it away before Christmas. So I think it'll stay for two weeks. I think, and I'm hoping, and if they don't do that, I'm going to be very sad. Yeah, so we've got the kills, the headshots done, one bloodthirsty, the long shots I have to do, done those stun kills, 19 out of 50 cover kills, done the double kills, so 27 out of 35 camos, and then that'll be the first uh, gold AR, so yeah. I find it really easy to hit headshots with this gun for some odd reason. I don't know, but yeah, I really like this gun. Honestly, none of the ARs are that bad. I have not used the FFAR yet, so I can't really formulate a good opinion on that. But the M4 is good. The AK is really good. The Krig is good. The QBZ is probably my favorite one. Uh, and I heard the FFAR sucked, but it did get a pretty sizable buff in the recent weapon updates, so... Maybe it's not as bad as uh, anymore as people made it out to be. Not really sure what to expect. Obviously, I'll get around to it. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. So my goal for these two weeks that I have for winter break is to unlock the diamond uh, ARs and the diamond shotguns. Actually, I think I said I'm going to do LMGs first. Diamond ARs and diamond LMGs. So that is... 8 weapons. Definitely doable, if you ask me. That's... So I have 16 days to complete 8 weapons. That's a weapon every 2 days. I definitely think that I can do all 5 of these ARs within less than 5 days. <clears throat> My voice is dying. What the hell? I think I could do these ARs in maybe 4 days. If I really sweat it. Um, because I already have four out of five of them completely maxed and like more than half of their challenges out of the way So if I you know start off with that pace and then go on to the LMGs and then the shotguns after Then I don't think I'll have a problem at all getting through maybe even ten guns during winter break If I get through 10 guns during winter break, that would uh, put me at, I think that's a cover kill, that would put me at 19 out of 29 guns gold in this game. So two thirds of the way, pretty much. Um, so that would be absolutely amazing. And then, I mean, obviously my pace would slow down again afterwards, but that would definitely put a sizable chunk in the grind. Where, where did he get shot from? Okay, that's where. There we go. That's last bloodthirsty. Let's go. Alright, but that's going to do it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys in the next upload. Peace.